here we go 2014 number one um, grass now this is um, a pretty straightforward problem as you if you work your way through it here um, I think grass clippings placed in a bin where they decompose from 0 to 30 days the amount of grass clippings is modeled by this function right here um, where A is measured in pounds and T is measured in days. Find the average rate of change over the interval from 0 to 30. Indicate the units of measure for A. This is not, not the average value, but the average rate of change from 0 to 30. So the average rate of change is A of 30 minus A of 0 divided by 30 minus 0. It's the slope of the secant line. That's the average rate of change. And if you do those calculations, since this is a calculator question, <coughs> excuse me, you just plug 30 and 0 into the equation for A of t, and you get negative 1.97 pounds per day. Okay. So you get one point for the answer with units. Um, so in a problem like this, since they give you it's a context problem, you got to have the units. B. Find the value of a prime of 15. Um, a prime of 15. Well, um, this is a complete calculator question because you can take the derivative of this um, if you do it on your calculator. If you do it right in your calculator, you should get negative 0.164. Um, and what are the units? Um, well, we're going to do that in the next part where it says, using correct units, interpret the meaning of the value in the context of the problem. Okay, well, let me just first of all say, this is in your math menu. And it's going to be, uh, let me pull it up right here and see Make sure I say exactly the right one. It's n n deriv. So I say n der n derivative, and you're going to put the function, and then x, and then 15, and then that will give you the answer. Okay. So what is a prime of 15? That's the rate of change of a, which is the amount of grass clippings in the bin when t is 15. So it's going to be, um, what's, and what's happening to the amount of grass clippings? It's, the rate of change is negative 1.64 pounds. So the amount of grass clippings is decreasing by 0.164 pounds um, per day when t equals 15 days. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so the rate of change of the pounds per day, since we're taking the derivative with respect to t, with respect to time, is 1.64 pounds per day. So it's decreasing, so it's that's what the negative means. So I don't want to say it's decreasing by negative 1.64. It's decreasing by 0.164 pounds per day. C. Find the time at which the amount of grass clippings in the bin is equal to the average amount of grass clippings in the bin. Uh, ooh, what is the average amount of grass clippings in the bin? That's going to be um, 1 over 30 minus 0, the integral from 0 to 30, with A of t. Since A of t is the amount of grass clippings in the bin, this is the average amount. And if you do that calculation, you should get 2.75263. Five. And I'm not going to round that yet, so I want to wait until the very end. 
Now the question is asking, find the time at which the amount of grass clippings is equal to this. So the question is saying, when is the amount of grass clippings, A of T, which is 6.687 times 0 0.931 to the T, equal to 2.752635? So the question is, how do you solve that equation? Um, well, with your calculator, the easiest way is to go ahead and do this. 6.687 times 931 to the T minus 2.752635 equals 0. I would go is to graph this, y equals. So if I graph y equals this function right here, and then I find out where is it equal to zero. Well, that's where it crosses the x-axis. And you can do that right on your calculator. And if you do that, you get t is 12.415 days. Okay, and that's why I don't want to round that off over here any because I want to. I don't want to mess up this rounding down below here. Okay, and D says for L is greater than 30, or for T is greater than 30, L is the linear approximation of A at T equal 30 is a better model for the amount of grass remaining in the bin. Use L to predict a time at which there will be 0.5 pounds of grass in the bin show the work that leads to your answer. Okay, well just to give you an idea of what this looks like, a is exponential, 6 times 0.9 to the t is decreasing, so it goes like this, out to 30. Okay. At this point right here, they're saying the tangent line after 30 is a better model than the curve. So make a straight line with that tangent line. Oops. You have to do that in a different color. I, but I have that option. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that right there. So this tangent line is is a, a better approximation um, for for uh, t greater than 30. And it says use that tangent line to pre predict the time when there will be 0.5 pounds of grass. So this is A of T over here. So we want to go, this is 0.5. So we're going to put this in for my Y value and figure out how many days it's going to be over here. Go back to my blue. And figure out what T would be. Okay. So the question is, well, what's the equation of this tangent line? Okay. And if I call this L for linear approximation, this would be L of X. Um, well, what's the, what do I got here? Well, this point, oops, this point right here is the point 30, A of 30. And the slope of this line, just kind of writing all the information down here is a prime of 30. Okay, so I know the equation of this uh, linear approximation is um, my y, I can call it L of x, minus my y coordinate, which is A of 30, equals the slope, A prime of 30, times x minus 30. So let's go L of X minus A of 30. Well, how do you find A of 30? I just plug that into the original equation. Oops, way up here. Plug that in, I've got my calculator. I know A of 30. That's going to be, if you do that, 0.782928. A prime of 30, 
just like I did in part B way up here. I'm going to do that in my calculator as well. And I go, um, I, or I, sorry, do that and I get 0 0.055976 times x minus 30. Okay, again, kind of a pain with all these decimals, but you got your calculator. So here's my equation. And again, this remember, this is my y value. L of x is my y. And we want to know um, when will there be 0.5 pounds of grass. So that's going to be L of x is going to be 0.5. And I want to figure out what x is. And I apologize. I did write x over here. And I should have written t. Because this is my, my x value is my x axis is really my time or t. So when L of x or my y is 0.5, so I've got 0.5 minus 0 0.782928 equals 0 0.055976 times t minus 30. And the way that I would do this is I would just do this all in my calculator in one shot because I'm not into writing this or uh, putting too much in my calculator. Divide by that guy. 0 0.055976 equals t minus 30. So I would do this in my calculator and then add 30. And if you do that, you get t equals 35.054. Okay, days. So at 35.054 days, that's when there's um, 0.5 pounds of grass clippings in there. Now, let me go ahead and just give you the gradient rubric on it, I'll put it in a different green here um, for this. It's, um, let me go back up here, for here it's plus one. If you get the answer with the units, it's plus one for the answer, plus one for the interpretation. For here it's plus one Oops. for the average value and then it's plus one for this answer so far it's five points and then part d is worth four so you get two points for writing this equation here with linearization and then you get one point for plugging in point five and then one point for the answer okay so there you have it.